Good looking cooking. Ballistic barbecue challenge. So after my epic elk burger fail, I fell asleep that night and the answer came to me in a dream. Why not take some of my favorite appetizers and pub foods and put those flavors into a burger? So today on Good Looking Cooking, we're making a little something I call the Pub Grubbin' Bacon Cheeseburger. It's ingredients time. These are some onion poppy seed ciabatta buns. For this burger, I'm using a standard 80-20 ground chuck. It's flavorful, available, and it leaves you money for cold beer. I'm just making two burgers, so we're going to need six sexy strips of delicious smoked bacon. With these ingredients, we're going to make a simple creamy barbecue slaw. With this dark beer, we're going to create a spicy pub mustard that's great with pretzels and hamburgers. With a green onion and these fixings, we're making a wonderful jalapeno popper cheese spread. If you got a good looking onion, use it with these ingredients for or buffalo wing inspired onion ring, beer battered. And we're going to add a luxurious finish with a fried egg contained in a pepper ring. Barbecue slaw. Start off by adding two tablespoons of mayo and two tablespoons of your favorite barbecue sauce, along with one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and give it a good mix. Add a few grinds of salt and pepper. Then add about two cups of shredded cabbage and a quarter cup of carrot sticks. Fold that together until you have a dreamy, creamy slaw. That looks slossom. Bingo! Let's make a little bit of that pup mustard. In a food processor of your choice, add half a cup of mustard powder, quarter cup brown sugar, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and four ounces of beer. Give that a good blend, and that's all you gotta do. Simple dimples, baby. Jalapeno popper spread. Start off by taking an eight ounce package of room temperature cream cheese and giving it a good smushing. Add your package of powdered ranch dressing, a diced green onion, and one to two diced jalapenos. Depending on your spicy desires, give it a good mix. Oh, what the heck. Add about a cup of finely shredded Monterey Jack to that cheese equation. Salt and pepper to taste. Give this a good mix and set it aside because that's all you need to do. Now let's get to them burgers. Let's get to the meat. Voila, beautiful beef patties. I'm just going to season them up on both sides with some fresh ground sea salt and cracked black pepper. I made my patties larger than the bun because when they start cooking, they're gonna shrink up a little bit. Tis the season for good seasoning. Feel free to use any meat of your choice, from ground poultry to wild game. Get it? Wild game? Yeah! All right! Yes! For these two burgers, just take six strips of bacon, cut them in half. Using those pieces, make this beautiful bacon weave. Lift the middle end, place down a strip of bacon, Lift the other two side ends, place another strip of bacon. Flip those bad boy side ends back over. Lift the middle strip on the other side. Lay another piece of bacon, you're good to go. A beautiful blanket of bacon. Out on the grill, we have our griddle pan on one side, the coals in the middle, and our soaked cedar planks getting all toasted up. Give those cedar planks a flip. Let's add those burgers. At the same time you put the burgers on, you're also going to add your bacon weave to your griddle. Close your grill and let this cook for about 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, give your bacon a good flip. That looks delicious and crispy good. After flipping that bacon, get back to that burger. Now's the time you're gonna add your jalapeno popper cheese spread and your sharp cheddar over top. Get that all gooey-fied. Close up that grill, let that melt, and let's get to those onion rings. Buffalo wing onion rings. In a medium sized bowl, add one and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of celery salt, 
five ounces of buffalo wing sauce or just some of Frank's red hot sauce and one bottle of beer. Give that a good mix. And just like that, you got yourself some beer batter. You're also gonna need some extra seasoned flour for a double dredging. Start by placing your onion rings into your beer batter and then place them into that seasoned flour for an extra dredging. Put them back in that buffalo batter, fry them up. That's simple. You got yourself some buffalo wing inspired onion rings. Check those out. Meanwhile, back at the grill, the burgers are done, son. Let's finish it off with this fried egg. Using that skillet of bacon grease, take a couple slices of that bell pepper. Start cooking them on one side for a couple minutes, flip them over, add your egg, and give them a good cooking. If you chose, you could scramble one of the yolks if you don't like that gooey, yolky goodness. But I do, so I'm gonna let my yolk shine through. Salt and pepper this, give them a flip, fry them on the other side. And now it's time to assemble that burger. I toasted my ciabatta bun and scraped out some of the top bread. I want all that room for all my burgery goodness. Don't deceive. You gotta love that bacon weave. Luxurious pepper and fried egg. Buffalo wing, onion ring. Crunchtastic. Rub on some of that pub mustard with that piquant taste. Being all for that slaw. Check out those layers of flavor. And just like that, we have us a pub grub and bacon cheeseburger. Check out that mess fest. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> Words can't describe the joys I'm having right now. So if you'll excuse me, I'm about to make love to this burger with my face. Glad you got to see me. Don't waste the taste. Put that burger in your face.